Namaste. I am Rachel Gupta, Miss Grand India. I am an actress in my country. I am a fashion model and I am an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. Uh, I have been working in the entertainment industry for the past few years now and I've gotten a lot of experience in how this industry works. I have started my first business when I was 18 and since then I have been managing multiple companies in my country from a varied diversified industries and I think business is where I truly shine, it's where my passion is and I'm a very strategic thinker. I have dreamed to be here for a very, very long time because I'm a woman who sees a vision in her mind first and then I work as hard as I can to make it happen. I'm very grateful to be here because I respect this organization and regardless of if I am your winner or not, I am your ambassador in India and globally in the whole world as well and I will always stand for that. Uh, I'm really grateful to be here and I can't wait to show you uh, my unique skills and to give you a little piece of India here at MGI. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with India. I want to know what is the biggest challenge you have faced and how did you overcome it? I think for me, I have grown up in a family of all doctors and businessmen. That's how I grew up, that's what I learned about, and that's what I always plan to do with my life. Joining the entertainment industry a few years ago just came out of nowhere. But it was always a dream of mine, but to enter this industry is really, really challenging. Starting from scratch is very, very difficult. And I traveled to Mumbai, the city of dreams, all by myself. And I had nothing except a vision and a dream. And from there, I worked really, really hard. I had to take so many rejections. I had to learn how to travel on my own, how to manage myself, how to advocate for myself, how to work in a large team of people because you're not the only one working. You're bringing visions of so many people to life. And learning all of this takes time. It, you need experience and you need practice. I think growing into this role and learning how this industry works learning how to excel and how to show who I am to every single person I meet, that was a huge challenge, but I wouldn't say I fully conquered it. You're learning every single day. You're always learning how to be better, um, but just entering this space was a big challenge and I'm really grateful that I could overcome most of it and I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> we love the person who are very famous in the country, in their country. So, how do you do in this situation to make yourself, yourself more famous in India? I love this question. Uh, I have been working really hard to promote the MGI brand and myself, of course, in my country. I know that in order to be a winner over here, I need to show you what I represent and what I bring to the table. So for me, I, the moment I won Miss Grand India, I made a plan of what I would do when I win Miss Grand International. So first of all, I think coming from a country with a huge population of pageant lovers, we are 1.5 billion people and every single girl in India carries the dream to be Miss India and to win the crown for her country. That's a huge advantage because we can leverage that to promote the MGI brand in India. Uh, I definitely think that to be more famous in India, we should have more events there. So many people would attend. The entertainment industry is huge. Bollywood is the largest film industry in the world and collaborating there would be a huge opportunity to get Indian fans and followers here for MGI and for myself as well. Uh, I also want to promote the message of stop the war in violence because although it is a very serious topic for the entertainment industry, I definitely think it is very important for any brand to have a social campaign as well. It's very important to spread that message. Uh, so for that, I would recommend definitely having the Miss Grand Peace Education Program, where the reigning winner can travel to different countries and promote the message of nonviolence in schools with a lot of media present. I also think having the Grand Peace World Summit is an excellent idea where 
different reigning winners from Miss Grant and past winners can come together to exchange their ideas on war and violence and you can bring influencers together and it'll promote the whole message really big. I also think there's a big opportunity for business for MGI in India. Um, I created a product with MGI branding to demonstrate this. Uh, we eat Mamuang Kwan in Thailand and we eat in, in India as well. It's called Am Papar. So I made Am Papar Nawat, like Papa Nawat. And <laughs> we are not selling this because it would be a conflict of interest, but we've been giving it as charity just to demonstrate the potential that India holds. Our cultures are so similar and all of the MGI products can be sold to a huge audience over there. And I think that this, it shows a wonderful opportunity for growth for the brand and for myself. Okay, <laughs> I ask this question because I a little wonder why you not uh, go to popular world best in swimsuit uh, for top 10 popular world because I'll be concerned by population from your country. Uh, but by the way, I just put you on top 20. Do not worry. But I'm a little wonder why not top 10 by popular world. I understand. We're, we're growing. MGI is growing in India. We, we haven't had a winner in India yet. And I think that once girls see the opportunity MGI brings, the whole country will really band together more. This is the first year every single person, pageant lover in India, is watching MGI. There's so many pageants happening in India right now. Nobody is watching. Nobody is interested. Everybody is watching MGI. And I think it's going to grow. It's going to build. You need a winner from India. <laughs> OK. I'm not serious. OK. <laughs> Don't serious. Yes. OK. By the way, if I have to choose only one from Asia, if you want to pick another one, it's a, almost the same quality of Miss India. Which country you want to pick up to top five with you? For your winner, you need a girl who is, first of all, has a huge following, definitely. Number two, she should be responsible. She should be ready to work with the organization. She should dress her best, speak her best. And thirdly, most important, she should be authentic, a genuine person who is kind, who's kind to the staff, who's kind to every person she meets. Um, if I am not the girl you see those qualities in, I would take Indonesia. No. My question is, if you're going to top five, but you have to pick another one in Asia going to top five with you, okay? You are not the winner or you can be the winner. Which country you want to pick up another girl from Asia to top five with you? I would pick Indonesia. She represents great business and she has a very good work ethic. I think she definitely deserves to be in the top five. I would choose Indonesia to win. I think that she, she's always dressed well. She has a good attitude towards work. Um, she wakes up on time. She is kind to everyone around her. And she has a huge fan following. So I, if not me, it would be her. OK, I have a, a last question. India, is Indonesia your roommate? Yes, she okay. is. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, every question and answer for today, uh, just to know. Uh, just we want to know you more, okay? Don't serious much, but you know Miss Grand International. What we looking for? So if you know, uh, so that's why you have to try uh, doing something more. That you can, okay? Don't serious. I feel you are 